What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Modern Dating. Let's get straight into it. Michael, you just got home and you opened up this garage. You didn't open up the garage to come into the house. You opened up the garage to the Reaper Cave. And what I'm telling you is that when you come home, you should open up that garage so you can come inside to the house. But you to come here and just sat in here, huh? No, I was coming to put my stuff down. I was going to come in there, but you come flying out the door. So. I didn't fly. Yeah, you did. You ran out. You ran out because the man came home. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to skip on out. <laughs> Michael, and then you came home with pub subs and you didn't ask if I needed anything from the store. We're going to have to start over. We need to write write down the rules of the porterhouse. Did, did, did I ask you yesterday you need anything from the store? But what about today? Bro was just taking a minute to I unwind it. I he just Yeah, he's just taking some time to come home. Catch his bearings, you know what I'm saying? Not be interrupted, not be yelled at. And this is probably why he doesn't run right in the house is because you're just going to give him a hard time. Wait a minute, man refused to marry a girlfriend with 15k credit card debt. It wouldn't be wise for my finances. I mean, he's got a point. He has got a point. Can't blame the king on this. I can thank you. Then you know at least your love is genuine because... The titled woman gets humbled when they realize men won't marry him. I can leave whenever I want, right? Yeah, it's almost see, like a go. business. But you can get a contract to avoid that. It's called a prenup. But if you get a contract to set so it up, so even so if so they're married too. with somebody so then what would and be you the leave, if the contract says you leave with what you came with. So what was the benefit of us getting married? Well, it was a benefit in the sense that you're making a, a commitment to this person and you decide to go to the extreme of signing documents and putting money into it and having this whole experience and having a family and building and so on and so forth that you can protect yourself by making that. It's just like any type of investment. But is that investment worth it? In protecting most yourself, what are you even talking about? Like protecting yourself from what exactly? Are you planning on leaving? Because a marriage is a lot of a lot of it's about finances. A lot of it's about building. What are you talking wife, about? Happy life quote. Happy wife, happy life. If I hear one more person give that advice to somebody, I have to tell you, that is just the most ridiculous. What does that even mean? <laughs> happy wife, happy life. If she's happy, then I'm happy. Because if, is that I think, true? Well, happy I think man, happy land. Happy king, happy kingdom. I, I think it's that. Their wife is always unhappy. Mm. If she's not shouting at me. And I can just sit here and watch the football. That all, all is well. Wow. That's something to aspire to. Man, I can't wait. What for someday for my kids to just sit there while the up person in the other room is just mildly dissatisfied with them, and they can well, have just. Have you noticed this? Like back in the day, like with my grandparents' generation, the level of respect children had for their elders was a thousand times more than nowadays. Nowadays, like millennial dads, millennial moms, I see kids cussing them out, slapping them, hitting them. Where back in the day, you would never disobey your parents. I was like afraid of my dad when he was there. Um, wasn't afraid of my mom because I was bigger than her for most of my life, but I had respect for them in a regard where I wouldn't like talk back. I wouldn't curse at them. If they told me to do something, I wasn't like, why? Nowadays, kids are like, do that. They're like, why? Uh, uh I don't want to do like the level of disrespect that children have now is crazy to me. It's like the downfall of the West of children just disrespecting their parents completely. And then moms wanting to be friends with their kids. We saw it. We did an episode the other day where this mom was like, I don't care about what my kids become to be. I'm just going to let them grow up and do their own thing. No, children need to be led. Can you imagine just letting kids grow up and do what they want to do? They'd all play freaking video games and sit and eat, eat Cheetos on a freaking beanbag. That's what they would do. That's what every kid wants to do. They want to play Minecraft all day. You know what I mean? You got to give them structure, discipline, the, it, having good, having structure and discipline is the highest act of self-love. In my opinion, if you can have discipline and do things you don't want to do every day, because you know, they're going to make you better. Like going to the gym, for instance, or reading a book every month, for instance, or going out there and meditating or getting 10,000 steps a day or doing something for your significant other or doing something for your dog. You know what I mean? Like these things, doing things that you want, don't want to do and do things selfishly. You will feel so much better about yourself. Doing things that are selfless, make you feel better about being you. You get something out of it. 
it. That's why I always believe we're better together and together we're better. Like we thrive off of a sense of community. We're social creatures. We like being around each other. We like helping each other. That's why society has gotten to the point that it's gotten to because people aren't so selfish. Um, and I feel like kids nowadays, they're so self-centered and then they grow up to be egocentric and then they grow up to be narcissists. And this is why we have such a disparaging um, community of people being in relationships. Women are like, well, what do I get? Guys are like, well, what do I get? And they're just, go both of them are just kind of spreading off. Their expectations are getting higher. Their their egos are getting bigger. The narcissism's spreading amongst more, uh, you know, more of a population of younger folks. And so it's, it's absolutely tearing up the nuclear family, which other countries are probably looking at this and like, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Because without a nuclear family, you don't have a strong family unit. And then you lose that male hierarchy. And the patriarchy apparently is really bad, even though it built the modern world we live in sit and watch the football get really that's that's what we're aspiring to that's what you hope for what do you guys do for work okay Sony I'm 28 and I'm in transportation I drive trucks okay let's start over here you can make a lot of really good money driving trucks but this is modern women. She popped his balloon she's like uh -uh, I don't want to you drive a truck no way these guys can make six six figures easily why do we end up popping Tony's um because she feels like she's too good for a truck driver. What does she do for a living? That was kind of boring. It wasn't nothing like more. Wait, what was I boring? just drive trucks. I mean, you ask what I do, that's what I do. What they do currently is okay because they're bosses. I like a boss stature. Not saying okay, that you're so not you, a boss. You, like you, I like to, somebody digger, who calls the shots. You yeah, she's, she's a gold How digger. can you look down upon one of the most useful jobs in the world? The thing is, dude, it is one of the most useful jobs in the world. If you shut down the truck driving industry right now, say goodbye to food, say goodbye to water, say goodbye to all the goods that you get at a store, like they would be completely gone. And the thing is, we need truck drivers. Shout out to the truck drivers. I, I'm an advocate of truck drivers because here's why. We wouldn't have anything. Nothing. The grocery stores would be empty. The gas stations would have no gas. I think we should create highways just for truck drivers so they can get stuff, you know, to each place a lot quicker. If nobody wants to be single moms, how we all got boyfriends? Somebody you can get your back blown out pretty easily, honey. <laughs> a boyfriend? We're talking about having a husband. On this app because I will have my daughter in my arms and I will have somebody come ask me out. Because we're trying to beat your cheeks. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> We're trying to hit. She has a pretty good point, but yeah, I know how to run to the comments, but we gotta run to the comments together, man. <laughs> let's look at, let's look and see how the comment box felt about this boyfriends but never husbands. <laughs> right? <laughs> I dated a lot of single moms, had a lot of fun. <laughs> Recreational use only. Never marriage. But they're going to say, who say we want to get married? Uh, you can't make this stuff up, bro. <laughs> Recreational use only. Never marriage, honey. But they're going to say, who says we want to get married? <laughs> I know they do. Yeah. Wait, it's the baby face. Are you in or are you going to go to college? I'm actually graduating this spring. I'm a third year in college. Oh, shit. Yeah, so you're not that young. You're graduating? I am. Definitely not getting pussy yet. You're too busy studying. We hold my hands. Do you feel nervous? No. How does it make you feel if I just... You ever seen Legally Blonde? <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, I, there's, there's no need for me to be looking down there. So being a faithful and respectful... Good, yeah, good for, good for this king. She's, she's for the streets, but she got an ass on her. I'm gonna give it to her. ...person is not cool to them. He really didn't deserve that. Guys like, oh, you know, I just want someone with a higher vocabulary. And then you said, day-to-day -day speak. Okay, so that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> he was so done with her ass. But for some reason, she couldn't pick up on that fact. Because what I meant to say was, I don't like how you speak on your day-to-day. -day. So I ended up flip-flopping it, which is fine. Everyone <laughs> makes mistakes, but <laughs> everyone's coming at me so hard. They were like, really? How are you going to say that, but then say this? And I was like, no, you have a point. Like, yeah. you really have a point. <laughs> well, you know, since you guys didn't work out, are you guys now dating other people? Like, how is that going for you? Do you want to go first? Or? I'm saying. Yeah. That's what they're asking. Are you single and open or are you just single? Oh, and 
Wait, what is she? What is she dressed like? A like a painter? I, I, I'm so confused with this outfit. Uh, yeah, of course I'm opening the date. Okay. Okay. Cool. What about for you, Rizoma? Um, I'm single, and right now, so a part of me feels like maybe I shouldn't date for a while. But at the same time, if the right person comes along, I'm not gonna miss out on that. Cause he is so I really over it. Would like, you know, someone. Definitely not like on my bucket list or like to do list or anything. The look on his face has got. <laughs> she, he's just letting herself dig her, dig that hole. Like goodness gracious, brutal, bro. It just helps to be good at reading the room. Now watch this next clip to the end because you won't believe it. I'm so sick. I know that. No, I'm over you. Okay? I'm joking. Simon, you do this every time. Hey, no. What are you saying? I'm sorry. Wait, friends are right. Like maybe I should actually be with you. Yep, see, my friends are right. I should probably actually be with Mark. See, they listen to their friends. <sighs> Misery loves company, man. Comparison is the thief of joy. Wait, what? Hey, don't be silly. What you Get off! He remembers. When I text you, you reply to me all day long. Okay, yep. Yeah, uh, what are you saying, Kate? I don't know. It's just like a million times the man you'll ever be. I'm sorry. Yeah, coffee, I was joking he around. Coffee brings me tea. Hey, Where's okay. flowers today? He's a simp. Stop. Hey, that's why I say stop simping, bro. Because the thing is, she's with this guy. She'll talk about Mark, but she won't actually go be with Mark. She'll try to flip the script and shame him for not being Mark. But at the end of the day, she doesn't want to be with Mark. I want you flowers. What are you saying? Yeah, I'm done. I am done with it. Sorry. No, I'm going. Okay, it was stupid of me. I'm sorry. Hey, no. Hey, if a girl ever says I'm done, be like, cool. Adios. Had this girl in college, bro. We weren't really dating. Uh, we were recreational use only, I guess you could say. We were seeing each other for a bit, maybe like six months. And uh, she found out I was talking to other girls. She like went through my phone. We woke up. She went through my phone. She's like, oh, you're talking to other girls? I was like, show am. Show is. And she goes, okay, I can't do this anymore. I said, all right, I'll walk you out. Walked her out. She got to the front, front porch. She's like, you're really just going to let me go like that? I was like, yep, adios. Check my watch. Two weeks later, the bitch is back at my doorstep, knocking on the door. Hey, are you home? <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't simp. Let's end the simp epidemic, fellas. End it. We got to take responsibility too. I know some modern women out there have lost their way, but I feel like men have too. The simp epidemic is absolutely brutal. Stop paying for OF. If we stop paying for OF, these women stop making money. Therefore, they will stop doing it. But as long as they're making money from OF, it's all men. We have to end that simp epidemic. And so when she found out that I was talking to other girls, of course she was mad and she wanted me to be like, oh, baby, don't leave. But I was like, all right, you want to leave? All right, go. I got options. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Go. She left. She, really? You're just going to do this? You're not even going to say anything? I'm like, well, you said you were done. I guess we're done. I got, I'm got. i good. Like, I ain't dating you. We're not exclusive. So cool. Two weeks later, bro, she coming right back. Hey, want to hang out? You can't make this stuff up, bro. She belongs to the streets. But I'm like, what do you think I'm stupid? Because I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and simp over you, honey. No. There's no way I'm a simp. Don't ever simp because as soon as you simp, you lose all your control. You lose all of your, your the hierarchy of the relationship. Don't ever simp, bro. And I think I'm going to try to say hi. I get hit on or be bothered. <laughs> music. Right? Oh, look at that. Accountability. Crazy. So exes can be friends. She calls us friends, but I don't consider us friends. What do you consider what? her? She's still figuring it out, but I'm the one she calls when she needs to cry. So you guys are just trying to work on things. See how it goes. I'm trying to work on things. The one thing that I've ever asked of her is communication. What would you want him to change? My height. <laughs> well, yeah. If he gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody in the world, would you use it? Yeah, some celebrity. One night with one celebrity doesn't change who I am. It sounds like a trap for your loyalty. How do you feel about her answer? I knew the answer. I just expected either Zac Efron or Channing Tatum. 
It's sad, dude. You can't simp on these women, though, dude. And this the thing is, this guy seems like a really good dude. He seems like a really good guy. I feel bad for him, but the, at, at the same time, it's like, bro, you got to know your worth. If she's not reciprocating that energy, you got to keep it pushing, bro. This is not going to change anything. This isn't going to change how he treats you. Facts. This isn't going to change your love. Facts. This isn't going to change your forever like Preach. this means nothing stop the cap <laughs> the is getting so expensive so instead of calling an uber my wife gave us a ride yeah dating around can be <laughs> quite so expensive <laughs> <laughs> that is good i've i've not i like that guy's content bro look at him look how cute he is look at him look at him oh don't move he knows we're talking about him I'm talking about you bud <laughs> that's the worst way to approach someone i don't know who you are but my friends say you were famous so i want to take a picture with you like that's not respectful you could be like hey uh, Mr. Flair, I do apologize. I'm a huge fan. I'd love to take a picture with you. I'm sorry to bother you. Do you mind? And if he says, yeah, cool. Like, you got to know how to approach people. I don't know who you are. My friends here are famous, so I want to take a picture with you. Like, worst way to approach someone, honey. Worst way. <laughs> That's where she gets. He looks very happy with me. He told me he didn't want to take a picture with me. That's his loss, not mine. Yeah, exactly. She got robbed and she's like, baby, help. He's like, nah, I'm not helping you. <laughs> you never really know who exactly. <laughs> I know that stuff has got to be scripted because there's like no way. Wait, 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 wait. Surprising, surprising her boyfriend after a year of long distance. He's sitting in a bed with another girl. <laughs> Oh uh, no! Why does this dude look like somebody's pastor, though? Shots fired! Shots fired! This is like 19 or, or 59 or 19 going on 59. Shots fired! Shots Nobody's fired! safe, guys. I know. I know. I'd be roasting everybody. Nobody's safe. Girlfriend's tattooed my name. Yeah. Keisha. Shakira. Bro, what is this dude's name? Onomatopoeia. That is Maria. A I don't know how I can't read that. Love a Tosin? Tosin. I love a Tosin. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. On her butt. Mary yeah. Unbelievable. Bro, what? All these women got the his name tattooed on them? Man, this dude is doing some kingly things. Kingly things. Moral of the story, the, today's video, bro. Don't simp. It's always a power play in relationships, right? As soon as you play the simp, you've lost your power. It's just like in sales, right? I've been in sales for a long time. It's in sales, right? You want to meet the customer here, but a lot of times salesmen come in from here. Hey, do you want this? Would you like to buy it? I think you'd really love it. As opposed to, hey, we're looking for people that are actually qualified for this. I don't know if you are. I was reaching out. I saw a couple things. Wasn't sure if you even qualified for something like this. We're looking for a specific type of person or a, a specific type of profile. That immediately brings your, your respect up. Say, hey, I'm actually busy, so why don't we do this? Why don't we schedule another time to chat? As opposed to being like, you know, I'd love to show this to you. You know, why don't, why don't we schedule some time to talk? It's a much different play. It's the same thing in relationships, right? You can't be always shooting up being like, well, you know, you're just so hot. You're so beautiful. Tell a girl she's I. What do you think about this? You look all right. I'm the same way with Cass sometimes. She'll ask, like, do you think I'm pretty? Like, I don't call Cass beautiful or gorgeous unless it's deserved. I call her cute. Like, hey, you look good. You look all right. Not bad. And I'll joke because, like, the thing is you start feeding her that stuff, then she's going to want it. Then what's next? You kind of got to start at the bottom there, and you got to feed into it. And, like, women love the toxicity. They love the turmoil. So sometimes you got to sit in there and grind her gears a little bit and give her that turmoil because if not, if everything's just hunky-dory, look what happened to Kaka. The, the soccer player, he was just the perfect man and he never had, it was never any toxicity, it was never any drama. Women love drama. 
Why do you think why do you think girls call each other on the phone and talk about what happened to the previous day for two hours straight? Whereas men, a man's phone call, two minutes. A woman's phone call, two hours. Because they like to talk about that stuff. They like to go back and forth about what happened and, and retell stories about how they feel and all that stuff. Like sometimes you gotta feed into that. So don't ever give a girl a ton of compliments. I've said this in previous episodes. If you're gonna give a girl a compliment, make it the most obscure, odd compliments. Like, ooh, your eyebrows are very asymmetrical. And she's like, what? I've never heard anybody call my eyebrows asymmetrical. And if she starts doubting herself, then she's going to seek your validation. This is this is messed up in its mental gymnastics. But if you give a girl a compliment that's like a backhanded compliment, she will therefore want you to validate her. It's messed up, I know, but that's how it works. Give her a random compliment. Oh, I like the way that your feet kind of are like pigeon-toed. I think that's really cute. And she's like, wait, that might be an insecurity for her. So therefore, she wants to make sure that you're not making fun of her. So she's looking for your validation. It's like those little things like that, that's what you have to do to get these women to draw them in, right? It's like... It's like when you're fishing, you know, you, you throw a rod out there, you got the little bob bib or whatever. I'm not a fisher guy, so I wouldn't know. But then if like if it's just like this, no fish is going to bite it, but it's got to be like a little agitated. It's got to be a little like frustrated and then the fish bite. So it's the same thing with women, man. If you don't agitate them a little bit and give them something to strive towards, then they're not really going to want to you know, give you their attention and they're not going to want to seek your validation, which is what you want because women are hypergamous. They shoot up. So therefore, you need to set yourself up on that higher hierarchy, man. Man, my, look at, so my co-star has officially been promoted to executive producer. He's asleep on the job. We'll, we'll dock him a day's pay. Um, <laughs> but don't forget to like the video. I think it's like down here. Subscribe over here. Um, I really do appreciate you guys, man. 20K, this is crazy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.